Uh, one thing that's pretty common down here around Jordan Lake is before they produced, uh, you know, put the dam up, all this was farmland. And as you go around, you come across old homesteads or evidence of it. But right around here, uh, oh, west of uh, Apex on game land is uh, where the Wildlife Resource Commission, you know, does uh, management. And I'll show you right here uh, is an example of one of the old homesteads. So, all around here is managed, you know, uh, for lawballing. And uh, you'll come across different areas that are, or you may see some wild, um, like periwinkle, oh, uh, jonquils, and uh, you see English ivy, which someone had planted along here uh, near their structure. But here's a Here's what was here. This this could have easily been here about 60, 70 years ago, and there's a lot of rubbish and stuff back in the woods uh, for when they vacated. But uh, most of this around here in the summer, uh, you know, everything's starting to fill in. But you'll come across in the woods every now and then, uh, uh, let's say some periwinkle, and you, which is like a, a plant people used to plant around grave sites. And if you follow it, a lot of times it will actually, um, you know, lead to a grave site. And it's kind of interesting, though, but you'll see all these old uh, stones, uh, gravestones, and they're all the, of the family. And in some cases, they got a story on them that talks about one of their family members that was killed uh, in the Civil War and brought home, you know, by a covered wagon. But it's kind of humbling, you know, when you walk through and see it. But this is an area um, that I like to come here a lot and just see what I can find. Just a while ago, I was down by that bottom land uh, uh, where the water is coming in. And you'll see all the fish all along the side popping at things that have washed. Or now they can get access to it. You know, what was all needles and bugs and stuff is now underwater and they come feed on it. But that's it for now. And uh, we'll talk to you <laughs> soon.